Learning Construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, this is Ernie with Learning Construction and welcome back to another tutorial video about construction. Uh, on this video I want to talk to you guys about the grease interceptors and mainly how they work. Well, here we are. We're looking at this grease interceptor right now. As we discussed in the video before, the grease interceptor is built to collect the grease from uh, the kitchen area. So all the oily products that come over here will basically come to this tank that you can see right now. You can see where the water is flowing uh, on this pipe right now. Basically what happens is the uh, gray water uh, it's coming from the kitchen area it'll go to this section of the grease interceptor and collect in there and have all the grease collect once all the greasy and heavy materials are being collected they will basically separate from the water and on the second tank of the grease interceptor as you can see here it will pass through this pipe over here with cleaner water so so to speak so the water in this area over here will collect without the grease because it will be left on the other side of the tank and come off the sewer once this connection is done as you can see over here the the pipe will connect to your sewer lateral now it's important to know a couple things about the grease interceptors like a regular fixture the grease interceptor will need to have a vent and if you can see on your left side over here where the piping is you can see where the vent is coming out the vent size will depend on the size of the grease interceptor so that would also be part of the design of the grease interceptor um, the next thing that is important to know is that the grease interceptors need to be maintained as the grease and the other items are getting full on one side of the grease interceptor they're gonna accumulate so and so therefore they're gonna have to be cleaned and maintained and empty it out in a period of time that period of time will depend on the type of use and how often this grease will be entering into the interceptor now as you can see over here most of the grease interceptors are usually installed on the road so when you're working on the installation of a grease interceptor these units need to have a certain depth uh, for example on this one over here it's just about 16 inches below so it's a traffic rated grease interceptor and the rings are the only things that they are going to the finished grade the base that you can see over here or the base rock that is being placed above the grease interceptor will be compacted to maintain enough compaction for the for the road that is going to be installed above well i hope you guys like this video and uh, don't forget to check out more videos at learningconstruction.com if you have any questions or comments you can always put them on the box below thank you guys bye